Hello, my name is Tej van Pettinger from Economics Help, and today I'd like to look at uh, a concept known as a paradox of value. Basically, why are we willing to spend a thousand pounds on a diamond, but water, much more essential to life, is very cheap. You can get tap water for virtually a uh, very low cost. So, first of all, um, it depends on the context. If you were in a desert and dying of thirst, a diamond would be practically useless and you wouldn't spend anything on it at all. You would sell all your diamonds to get water. And the reason diamonds are expensive is partly because we buy very few. So if we look at our total expenditure throughout our lifetime, even though water is cheap, our total expenditure on water is much greater. So if we get getting married, then we may buy a diamond ring. And we want to get something very nice for our partner, so we may be willing to spend a thousand pounds to get a good diamond. But after that, we may never buy a diamond again, because the marginal utility of a second diamond ring is much lower. If we have high income, we may get a few more diamonds, but many people will buy only very few. So we buy diamonds once or twice in our lifetime, but water, we need it every day. You could consume water today, but you're still going to need to consume it tomorrow. So, um, you know, my water bill is roughly about 250 pounds a year. That's for water and waste services. Um, so over 40 years, that's, um, what, 8,000 pounds? Even on that quite conservative uh, measure, uh, I'm spending more on um, water than I am on diamonds. In fact, I've never bought a diamond at all, but then um, that's an economist for you. Now, other things to bear in mind is why are diamonds so expensive? Well, partly it's due to very restricted supply. Supply is inelastic. There's a limited number of diamonds and diamond companies are quite good at restricting supply, keeping a monopoly position and keeping prices high. Whereas water, especially in the UK, supply is quite elastic. Uh, you know, it uh, keeps raining. You could collect water yourself if you really uh, wanted to. Uh, but with diamonds, you can't go out in your back garden and get them. So if you look at this diagram here, the supply of diamonds is very inelastic and also the demand very inelastic. You know, we don't buy many diamonds, but when we do, we're willing to pay that high price. Whereas water, very different situation. Supply very elastic and um, demand is actually greater. We, we, we need to buy a higher quantity of water. So this is the, explains the great variance uh, in price. Now also with diamonds, I think there is an element, but to some extent it's a Veblen good, which means that as the price rises, it becomes uh, somewhat more attractive, at least to some people because when you're buying a wedding ring for somebody, the criteria is you want to get the best quality, uh, the one that kind of indicates your loyalty and your commitment to that person. So if you could get a fake diamond ring for 20 pounds, most people wouldn't want to buy that because they, it gives a wrong impression about the value they place on the relationship. So the fact that diamonds are expensive is actually a selling point. People actually want to buy something that's very valuable. And so we could get cheaper gemstones or fake diamonds, but it doesn't have the same allure. So when it comes to um, buying a wedding ring, we want that exclusivity. And the high price of diamonds shows that it is exclusive. So at least for that one-time purchase, uh, we're willing to pay that higher price. Whereas with water, that consideration doesn't come into it. Now, diamonds and water are very frequently used in economic textbooks. What other examples might we uh, consider? Um, I mean, one thing is why do we willing to spend thousands and thousands of pounds on sending rich people into space when um, there's much more pressing problems down below Earth, like um, people living in poverty or environmental destruction? And that is partly related to, you could say, inequality in that billionaires with a lot of money 
um, they have surplus cash and so are willing to spend on, um, you could say, luxury goods of flying into space. And um, people on, uh, who, who can't afford to go might prefer other priorities. But for people with the money can decide how they want to spend it uh, in our current uh, system.